Module Five: What the Future Holds. Five A: Predictions. Exercise Six, Page Forty-Seven. Um, I think the world will be a very different place in two thousand one hundred. I'm sure that robots will do most of the housework for us, so we can spend more time playing and having fun. But I think there won't be many plants and animals left on the planet, so we'll have to find new types of food. I also think the Earth will be very polluted, and maybe we'll have to wear masks. What I'm really afraid of is that if we continue to cause pollution, there won't be any clean water left. And we'll have to go to other planets to find water. Five B. Gadget madness. Exercise two B. Page forty-eight. Hey, Bridget, where are you going? Hi, Chris. I'm on my way to buy a virtual pet. What are you talking about? What is a virtual pet? Well, my mum says I can't have a real dog. So I am going to get a computerized one. A computerized dog? Yes, Chris. I'm going to buy a puppy. Name it, feed it, and train it. All I have to do is press buttons on the gadget. So when your virtual dog is hungry, you press a button that shows you're feeding it. Exactly. There is a button for walking it as well. It will be like having a real dog, because you have to take care of it every day. Oh, come off it! It won't be like a real pet because it won't show you any affection. Well, you have a point there. Still, I like the idea. Exercise eight, page forty-nine. You'll never be alone with the new Vivo 500 Sport MP3 player. This is the MP3 player you've been waiting for. The new Vivo 500, with its splash-proof player and headphones, means you can take it to the beach or the swimming pool this summer and not worry about water. Its built-in speaker means you can share your music with your friends, and not just a few songs. No. This player can store up to two thousand songs, and all for one hundred and ninety-nine pounds. It's the best in MP3 technology. Small, light, and easy to carry. Get your own Vivo 500 now. For information, call zero eight hundred seven five five eight four four. Five C. What's your opinion? Exercise two, page fifty. Online or in class? Many people believe that there won't be any schools in the future. Instead, students will learn at home with the help of a personal computer and the internet. It is true that technology plays a big part in learning today. In many parts of the world, students use personal computers to write their school assignments or keep notes of lectures. 
What's more, students go online to look up useful information or do an online course. However, computers will never be able to replace teachers. Teachers motivate their students, help them out with difficult tasks, answer their questions, and give clear explanations. Moreover, teachers show young children how to behave and act as role models for them. To sum up, technology can help students learn things. Unfortunately, it cannot offer them the inspiration and support that teachers can. Five D, Culture Corner, Exercise One. Page fifty-one. High tech teens. Teenagers spend a lot of time in their bedrooms, hanging out with their friends. But your average teenager's bedroom has changed a lot in the past few years. Up until recently, teenagers had teddy bears, dolls, sports equipment, tape recorders, board games, and the odd radio in their bedroom. Nowadays, these traditional toys are all but gone. And innovations such as MP3 music players and games consoles are popular instead. A recent survey showed that seven out of ten British teens have a TV in their room, and six out of ten have a games console. More than half the children have a DVD player or a hi-fi system, while around one in three have a digital music player (MP3) or a computer (PC). And ten percent of teens have digital TV. So it's not surprising that around a third of the kids have gadgets worth up to two thousand pounds in their rooms. How do they pay for them? Well, nine out of ten of them receive these high-tech goods as Christmas or birthday presents, while others save their pocket money or earn the money through working. Some parents might be shocked to find out. That their son or daughter could be sleeping on a gold mine, it seems fair to say that as new technology increases, so does the value of kids' bedrooms. English in Use Five, Exercise One B, Page Fifty Two. Can you help me send an email? This is how you can send an email. That was easier than I thought. Now connect to the internet. Make sure you click on Send when you finish writing. Got it. What's next? Sorry, can you say that again? You may also select an email address from your address book. Exercise two, page fifty-two. Mark, do you have a minute? Sure. What do you need? Can you help me send an email? No problem, Kathy. First of all. Turn on your computer. All right. Now connect to the internet. Then access your email account. Got it. What's next? Click on Create a Message and type it in. Make sure you click on Send when you finish writing. Anything else, Mark? Oh yes. Include the email address of the person you are sending it to. Thanks, Mark. That was easier than I thought. Exercise five, page fifty-two. Reading rules: A plus L M, S K L F. R, half. O plus M, N, V. A. Some. Calm. 
come, harp, cup, sun, love, mother, monkey. Extensive reading five. Across the curriculum, ICT, exercise two A, page fifty three. Simulating reality. Do the name Sim City, The Sims, MS Flight Simulator mean anything to you? Well, they are all popular video games that simulate reality. In Sim City, for example, players have to build a city that looks and functions much like a real one, with houses, shops, and factories. However, we don't only use computer simulations for fun. There are many things that we cannot study or test in real life because it would be too difficult or dangerous. Computer simulations make such study and testing possible. In the past, for example, pilot training used to be very dangerous. Nowadays, pilots can practice their skills before they enter the cockpit by using flight simulators. Engineers also use computer simulations to design and test new products before people start using them. They can identify dangerous faults in cars and buildings, for instance, and therefore save lives. With the help of computer simulations, we can develop new things without putting people's lives at risk during real-life testing. They not only provide us with entertainment, but also play an important role in our future.